Today on Vicks Tips is the ultimate nachos. Baked in the oven for company, like restaurant style. Topped with a spicy chili and some cheddar cheese. So easy and cheesy. Oh my word, I gotta get in there. Hey, it's Vicky. I'm so excited today because it's ultimate nachos. My favorite. I'm gonna show you the way I serve it when I have friends and company coming over, but I just need my nacho fix. Now let's make some nachos. Nachos are fun and can be made with just about anything. Just layer up stuff, starting with something crunchy and salty, like tortilla chips. Yeah, crackers work. So do Doritos. Some kind of protein, like chili, beans, chili and beans, sausage, any sausage, chorizo is great. And then cheese, any cheese, melty, yummy cheese, melted in the mic, oven, Instapot, whatever. Even that cheese in a can works. And then top it with anything you got around the house. So much fun, my favorite thing to eat. When I make nachos for company, I like to make them in the oven. They come out a little crispier and it just makes a good presentation. So you want an oven safe little tin. Um, I wrap mine with tin foil because it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> and spray it lightly so nothing gets stuck. We're gonna put a lot of cheese and junk on here. I'm gonna start with our bottom layer and I'm gonna strategically place some around the outside so you can't really tell that it's an ugly pan. <laughs> this is my way for company. Cover all the holes because this is your bottom layer and this is a great place for all of your uh, little pieces to fill up all the holes because once the cheese melts, all these little pieces are gonna glue together and they'll be fine. I'm using chili with beans, because I love beans, and because I made chili the other day. I'll leave that video up there. Check it out, it's a fun video. It really, really is. Anyway, then you just layer your meat. Yes, I have made this with just beans, because I'm a nacho fanatic, and sometimes I just crave nachos and need them now. And I don't always have chili. You need an intervention. If you don't wanna make your own chili, uh, my suggestion would be a canned Hormel Angus chili. That's so super good. And then it's gonna be our first layer of cheese. Now I have shredded cheddar. You can use any kind of cheese you like. I know my chili is spicy, so I'm gonna go a little less on the spice. If I had a more mild chili, I'd probably use Monterey Jack or something a little spicier. <laughs> and then the next layer, you're gonna wanna put it inside the first layer because this is for company, we want it to look pretty. Try to use bigger pieces here. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes until the cheese is nice and melty. I do it the oven way when I have company because that's how you get it at a restaurant. And when they come out of the oven, I'll show you what makes them ultimate nachos. You don't want your cheese to turn brown. You just kind of want it all melted in there. And then where you go from here, that's totally up to you. They're ultimate nachos, so I'm gonna sporadically place blobs of guacamole. off with some sporadically placed olive and there you have it cheesy goodness now this is my kind of eating get that top piece That's so good oh my god oh my god you need an intervention yeah, this is my favorite food, like in the world, next to pizza. But when I'm making them just for myself, I'll just make one layer with 
some type of meat, whatever we got, eating beans, cheese, melt it in the microwave for a minute, and then add any kind of toppings that I have. Not as good as this. <laughs> this is outstanding. It's better than you get in the restaurant because you make it your own. You put on whatever it is that you like the best. I hope you like my videos because I sure love making them. And if you found this video interesting or helpful, give me a comment and subscribe because I make new videos every week like these. And I'm sure you'll enjoy those also. I'll see you next time. Now this is